compressor that can keep up with the demands of auto body repair and painting can be very confusing. But if you focus or concentrate on two very important questions, it becomes a lot easier. The first question is, can it keep up? Can it keep up with a spray gun, a DA, grinder, etc.? So first question, can it keep up? Second question, is it quiet? This size air compressor is a very good starting point for automotive body repair and painting at home. It runs on 110, so you can easily use it in a garage. Uh, Oil-filled compressor, so it's very quiet. And the tank sizes range from like 12 to 30 gallons. This specific compressor runs any tool that I want it to run. Uh, it keeps up very well with the exception of trying to sandblast for a long period of time or uh, DA sanding a whole vehicle. You can oftentimes find these on Craigslist for around $50 to $100 used and anywhere from $400 on up new. So again, it, it keeps up with the tools and it is very quiet. A lot of these old Sears or Craftsman air compressors had various tank sizes. Now the bigger the tank, the less the compressor is going to cycle on and off. But I decided to give you a shot of this tag so you could see the model number and look up the specifications on this compressor if you wanted to. And that number is 106173840. Another nice thing about the older Craftsman or Sears compressors is that the motor was made in USA too, and these motors last a very, very long time. Lastly, I'd like to show you just how simple and reliable the oil-filled compressors are. On this side is a DeVilbus. By removing six bolts, it comes apart, and underneath you have two reed valves that can be removed and cleaned. Then a plate that has two more reed valves that can be removed and this is the back side, and then the pistons and the crankshaft. On this side we have an old CH. By removing six bolts it comes apart. You have two reed valves that come off, and then a plate, and then two more reed valves that can be removed and cleaned on the back side, and then the pistons and the crankshaft. So again, these are very simple and reliable compressors and they last a very long time. Again, choosing a compressor for doing body work and painting can be difficult, but this size and type of compressor, uh, twin cylinder, one horsepower, uh, 12 to 20 gallon tank, in my opinion is a good starting point. It is a minimum however, but it should give you a good idea on where to begin. So I hope you enjoyed this video on choosing an air compressor for automotive bodywork and painting. And if you did, and you'd like to see my latest videos, don't forget to hit the subscribe button.